there is a ban going around on natural gas. If you use a gas stove, stop it. Not in every state now. We're talking about states so far, like in California, I think New York. Have they given us specifics on how much to use? Are they going to allocate certain days that are more you know, available? or what No, was the by, by 2027, they are expecting to see no natural gas products. So you won't have a gas stove in your kitchen. Nobody will be using gas by 2027. That's the agenda. Wow. That's crazy. That means they really are going full throttle on this electrification idea. I mean, do you do you get the implications of this? Because I haven't heard of this. It's a recent thing. It just came out a couple of days ago. Well, I mean, just think about it. We only have a limited amount of energy resources. We have dirty energy like oil, coal, whatever, petroleum-based products. And then we have natural gas, liquid propane, some solar and then some battery capacity systems, capacitational systems like like large mega batteries and stuff like that. So for electrificational reasons. But those need those themselves don't produce energy, there's a storage of energy. Natural gas is actually one of the United States produces a lot of natural gas. There's only so many resources we have. You get rid of natural gas, where is the energy gonna come from? Energizer bunny. It's going to come from the oil industry and coal. And it's so weird because everybody's talking about green energy, right? And so they propagate battery and electrification as a green energy concept. But batteries don't produce energy. Batteries are storage containers. They're like a capacitor. They actually store energy. So you need, the, uh, you need a source of original energy first. Batteries by themselves don't yeah. produce energy. I know. But people on TikTok think that they do. Like right. batteries just are born out of nothing. And then they, they uh, allow things to keep moving. Hey, Alexa, is there a ban on natural gas, 